Royal Vibe Studios. Welcome back guys, we just finished watching an amazing UFC 275 We did our live stream on TikTok and we had an amazing turnout We had a lot of people watching us And to introduce everybody, we got Ray to my left We got Chesco to my right behind the camera We have Tone, we're a little bit tired What's but up? we're doing this We're up literally right after the fight to bring this little recap back to you There's three main fights that we're going to be talking about tonight Which ones are those Chesco? Um, well, we'll just talk about, give you the results of the first two. Jack de la Madalena beat Ramzan MF. It was a pretty cool knockout. It was knockout in the second round. He was caught, I think it was in a triangle choke, right? Wait, no, what? Or sure. a Darsh. I don't really remember. He was caught right before he knocked him out. He was in a Darsh, got up from it, and then knocked him out. That was uh, that was a knockout in the first round, Uh, 232 of the first round. Very good fight. Andre Fialio fight Jake Matthews. Jake Matthews knocked him out. Dude, two Jake, Jake Matthews two. thumped him. Thumped him in uh, 224 of the second round. So those were the two, you know, uh, first fights. Then the top three that we're going to go in a little in deeper. Uh, Wei Li, Zhang Wei Li versus Joanna John Jacek. What do you have Let's to say? about that. Ooh. Dude, honestly, they're, they're she warriors. got... No, I managed that dude. She got her fucking world rocked. No, but I mean, she got dragged they, in the first round, right? Like she got controlled. She, you know what? We know what the problem with her was. She kept she giving up Joanna. her fucking back. Yeah, like, and yeah, she kept giving up. Well, her she back. had to. She had to because it's like you got to go back and forth. Because if not, you're gonna get starched. Is that there's a difference like in strength and power? Zhang Wei Li is just oh, absolutely. strong, absolutely, like super strong, because you know, Joanna's 35. She retired tonight, legend. But you know, she's ne she was never she was always off of technical skill. She was never based right. on power. But wow, man, it was it was pretty crazy. Cutting down to that weight class though, it, it, it takes a toll on you too. And yeah, you can. How long how long has she been without fighting? Like a couple years. No, she no more than a couple years. Oh, without yeah. fighting? Yeah, the last fight was against uh against Zhang Wei Li, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And And that one there's no way it didn't take a toll on her. Oh, that cuts that your career. That first fight between them two, that was a phenomenal fight. That first fight cuts your career. That fight first fight it'll yeah, matter there's no who you are. A, and then you take it what just, two was it two or three years of vacation. Yeah. And I mean she's living her best life. She's going on vacation. She just leaves the I think she the got world. married. Think. She got, she got, did she get married? I think, well, she said brother in law. <laughs> so, I mean, it could be your your sister's husband. Your sister's husband, is that your brother in law? Yeah. Yeah. Your sister's. So you're not married because then she would have said my husband. Yeah, but she I don't was, think she that's thinking her husband's, husband's brother. Husband's brother. That too. <laughs> Regardless, she's living her best life. Um, I don't think if your sister's husband. Could be her brother's husband too. We don't discriminate. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't think if your sister or brother are married, you should deserve to have a brother-in-law. You gotta end that. Like, so you have to get married. I think you're wrong. Let's move on. All right, you could check this out next week because we're going to talk about this <laughs> on the next episode of the Red Crew. But uh, yeah. Uh, before we move on, thank you to everybody that that you yes, know. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we you had, guys, you guys are the real legends. We should had a total, be told. Yeah, uh, fifty-four thousand people watching us. Um, we have people g leave us some gifts, so we appreciate that a lot. Um, I ate a bunch of wings, so those gifts that you leave us uh, go into the fun to eat more wings next time that we go live. Yes, uh, you guys commented it with us. But I don't think no matter how much gifts you guys send, I don't think we have enough money to feed this fucking animal. Probably not. So go ahead and make that a challenge. Yeah. So yeah, we probably don't have enough money enough money to go ahead and feed me, but make that a challenge for you. Go ahead and give us as much money as you have, as much money as you can, and then if you uh, give us enough money, maybe you can feed me. Maybe. Regardless, we want to go ahead and t take out this little bit of time to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, joining us on those live. We we try to go live every pay per view, 
And um, then we do this videos after the pay-per-view is doing a small recap of the pay-per-view that we just watched. What so, sucks is next pay-per-view event, some retard thought it was a good idea to get married <laughs> on that fucking day. Precisely. Now, here's the, here's, the th- here's the deal. If we can leave the wedding by maybe 9 p.m., 10 p.m., we can still make it to watch the main event. I'm just going to throw that out there. But for sure, we'll be back on UFC 277 July 30th. Correct. Juliana Pena versus Amanda Nunes. Brandon Moreno versus Kai Car France. That's a good fight. That's a great fight. Derek Lewis versus Sergey Pavlovich. That's a sh- we know that somebody's going to get knocked out. That's great. Paulo Costa versus Luke Rockhold. Second place behind Jorge Masvidal. We all know that. Rockhold, right? Luke Rockhold. Yeah. And then, oh my goodness, Magomed Ankalev versus Anthony Smith. That's another great this fight. This is going to be a great card. Great card. So we're going to be doing the same thing, just watching. I mean, just eating wings, nothing else. And there, join, may, join us, there um, may be something next to us. If you came know. from the Tech Talk, let us know. Let us know because we want to know who who's actually coming over from the Tech Talk. Um, so let's go back to the UFC recap. All right. The next fight was... Um, blanking out. Uh, was Valentina it? Shevchenko versus uh, Taila Ty- Santos. <sighs> I feel like Taila had control for most of the fight. I don't. There was a judge that saw a four-one for Valentina Shevchenko. How? I I don't I don't see that because she had at least Santos had at least three of the rounds. Giving her a winning, I think that what the comment section was saying that maybe the second round was the one that was on, mm. on um. The fourth on the was fence. for sure for Valentina. She definitely won the fourth round. Who do you think won the fifth? That was I think Valentina. Valentina. So okay, so it would be fourth and fifth, and then one and three. And then they say the second. And so the second I'm fine. Maybe. I don't think that's a robbery. Right. But a four-one. That's robbery. That's crazy. There's no way that Shevchenko had four out of those five rounds. No, sec, uh, first and third, there's no way she won. She got controlled in two of those rounds bad, yeah. like really bad. She got almost, the, you know, the arm was never under the chin, but she was cranking yes. on that neck, Your neck crank. on in two rounds mm-hmm. hard. Like she had that, she was, she was really cranking, and that's crazy, but I think there's going to be a rematch. It has to be. Have y'all seen Have y'all seen Valentina Shevchenko matches lately? They are They're not matches. Like this. They're they, not yeah. this. They are. It's her beating on on a yes. pure on a, on a poor little girl. You commented right before the fight started. I don't even want to watch Shevchenko fights anymore because I already know what's gonna happen. Exactly. This is not what you thought was gonna happen. Exactly. This is not. No, I, and, and I apologize. Talia Santos. I had no idea who she was. Yeah, I didn't no, know who I, her name was. I, I, agree. I didn't even want to look her up. I'm like, this is gonna she be the same thing. She came out of nowhere. Thing. And it came out of nowhere. It was yeah. a crazy fight, man. It was a crazy fight. And, and she did a great job. Who? Santos. Yeah, she did. Hey, but but Shevchenko's a thug. Like she is. A thug. But, but even even as much of a thug as she is, we were doubting whether she won or not. You think she could beat a guy like in a jiu-jitsu match or in a grappling competition? Who, Shevchenko? She probably can't. Oh, yeah, dude. No, but I mean like a, let's say, a, what, a purple belt? Oh, okay, yeah. Can she, can she beat a brown belt? Depending on the size. A guy? A guy. Depending on the size. I mean, if somebody her size, yeah, but what is she, like 125? She fights at 135. 135? No, 25. 25. Yeah, 125. Okay, if she's at 125 and you get a guy that's like maybe 150 as a brown belt, she's not yeah, winning that fucking true. fight. Because she could beat up. She could, she, could, she could handle any white belt, but it's like, can she handle a, like a legitimate... I don't know. She's a <coughs> beast, beast, beast. I don't mean like in a fight. I know that she can't. Like if if he's a brown belt in a fight, he's probably gonna beat her. But she is the. You real. mean like if they were just rolling? See what? See where? It no, went. no, no. I don't mean. That's why I didn't. That's why I said in a grappling company because I know that rolling is jujitsu. But I mean like beyond that, like in the actual competition. I'm not saying that because I don't want to push. Remember when when Ronda Rousey was like beating up everybody and they're like, "Can she beat up Mayweather?" And, pe- people and, then, and, then, and then she goes, I'll beat up Mayweather. So I don't want to go that far. But, like, because uh, people say dumb things. I don't want to say that. But, like, just her, like, she is on a different level. Because that's... Because yes. she's... Her and Amanda Nunes have been in the pound-for-pound pound conversations, right? Correct. It's been her and Amanda Nunes. Her and Correct. Amanda Nunes. And since Amanda Nunes beat lost her twice... Opinion, yeah. But it, she just lost opinion. I know. But that's what I think that... 
Amanda Nunes lacked in that match, that fight, that heart that we saw that Valentina had today. Like when the when right. it got tough, she, she answered the call. Yeah. Like yeah, she, she answered through. the call. Nunes obviously did it. Maybe it's because of lack of preparation or whatever. And we'll see on July thirtieth if it was because yeah. of that. But today, Shevchenko answered the call. I actually feel like she lost, but whatever. Like I don't I, feel like it was a robbery. Is, yeah, no. Yeah. If if, she, if it would have been that that judge that gave her four one would have given her three two, I wouldn't have felt like it was such a exactly. big robbery. Like but okay, it was a okay, split decision. Yeah. It was a split decision. Oh, absolutely. So. And, and it deserved to be a split decision, but but not with a four one judge. Exactly. That's the that's the only thing. I don't think that there's any much question. The only question is, let's say I'm uh, Juliana Pena wins right again. She beats Amanda Nunes. Mm-hmm. The only question is, does Valentina Shevchenko fight Amanda, I'm sorry, uh, Juliana Pena next? Or does she... Are they in different weight classes? They are. But she could go up. Does she go up to fight Juliana Pena? Or does she just stay and fight Santos again? She could. She doesn't lose anything. She loses no stock if she loses. Absolutely, she doesn't. So she has nothing to lose. But that's really the only question. What's next? I don't think we're going to put another fighter in front of Santos, right? After what we just saw. Like, that's the rematch. I agree. Unless, yeah. unless she goes up to fight yeah. Pena or fight Nunes again. I don't care if she lost to her twice already. Let her fight Nunes again. Like, I think that's that's really the answer. I don't know if there's anybody else has another fighter they want to throw in there. And then the next, the last fight, the main event. What a fight. Crazy fight. Crazy, crazy. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to go that way. My opinion. Old dude, what's his name? Teixeira. 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 Dude, so the f- I think he was trying to prove. I think he was trying to prove a point tonight because he sure had him dazed four fucking times, where he could just kept hitting him, and probably would have knocked him out. Any time he got dazed. He shot for the fucking legs. He tried to go for the takedown. But I genuinely think he was trying to win that fight. Sorry, by we, we're talking about Jiri Prohashka versus Glover Teixeira. That was the main event. Yes, that was the main event. I, I don't know. I think part of it was the fact that he was so tired. And he felt more comfortable wrestling uh, and on the ground. I Personally, that's, that's what it is. Uh, that that last bit in the fifth round where he had him he had him knocked down. He, he was on the floor. He was dazed. He could have finished the fight if he would have just kept punching him. But he decided to go for the guillotine choke. That and that's crazy. where he lost it. Exactly. That that's where crazy. he lost it. If he would have kept not, uh, just hitting punches, hitting punches, hitting punches. He, he pulled guard, right? That's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, man. Like, the dude was trying to prove a point. He wanted to win that fight by what submission. What point is he trying to prove? I think he just he wanted to win the fight by in that, in, in that arena. He felt more comfortable yeah, I just with think the jiu-jitsu. That. I don't he felt think more that comfortable he... with the... What point did he? The, what point I think did he? Want, not like a point, but oh, I think his, his goal was like, yeah, like I think his goal was to. The irony knows that. Is he thought he was a better grappler. He got choked the fuck out. Well, yeah, but and not only did he get choked out, but he got choked out in the last thirty seconds of the, the fifth round, round when he was winning that round, and he was probably gonna win the fight. Oh, he was definitely gonna win the fight. He he has at least the last, the the third and fourth round. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the first and second because I was paying attention to the podcast, to the live. But I know he definitely had the second, third, f- the third, fourth, and fifth round. And see, the problem with gay teams are that they're really fucking tricky. Like, unless you really, really get a nice, snug, tight in there. And he, and he didn't have and, it. And, yeah, and then, like, what happened was he kept holding it. Same thing happened to Pori against Khabib, bro. These guys, they get the guillotine, and it's like, man, I got it, I got it. Their arms get fucking tired really quickly. That's what I was going to Bam, you let go, and it's... Oh snap! I have no power in my hands anymore. That's what happened with Poirier with, with Khabib, and that's why Khabib got well, his yeah, back. Obviously, is there any joke? Any any submission is hard to pull off, like because you're you're going against like yeah, experts but the, in name defending. name one of the choke that you use your arms that hard, like it, like other than a guillotine. No, it what do you it spend takes no, energy. It definitely, there's, no, not, but, there's no lying about that. No, but uh, uh, a rear naked takes energy. Like when yeah, you're no, squeezing, absolutely. it takes energy. The problem with the guillotine is that you're under the guy. Correct. So if you, once once you lose it, once you lose it, you lose you, everything. You, ha- you don't have control anymore. Every other choke, if you, once you lose it, you still have position. So in the guillotine, once you lose it, now you're maybe even in mount or like you're in you're you're in full guard, like you're out of position if you lose 
if you lose mm -hmm. partner sounded redundant if you lose that position so that's the thing about guillotines and not only that when you're in the fifth round you're dealing with a person who is soaking wet yes so there is no grip you have to have that arm right under the neck or or he's getting and not only he or right she's under getting the up. right neck but like you have to have it in a position where you're not halfway off the head exactly and he he didn't have it he wasn't like a full neck crank neck choke. And, and also the the, the 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 thing about like guillotines is that once you have it like once you get the head you have to shift most of your weight to your other hip like once you have that side you got to shift your weight and close that gap and it looked like he had him just straight like he didn't shift his weight to get more power on that arm he just kept it straight and kept mm -hmm. pulling him back and like you said, if he only has a fucking neck, man, yeah. you can't be cranking like that. Now, like I said, if you have it on the side, whatever the case may be. That's the problem. Yeah. That's what Poirier said, actually, like with Khabib. He said, like, is he that strong? Is he that strong? He's like, he's strong, but he's not something crazy. But the thing is, he's so technical. He knows that you have to adjust. As soon as you're adjusting, that gives you air. And the thing with Khabib is, bro, like, I don't know if you guys ever noticed when Khabib fights. He, when he gets caught in something, Khabib will do one of these numbers. He'll shrug. So at that point, like, that gives him... Because what happens is when you're like this, you're relaxed. Right. But once you do one of these numbers, you got when, you, when, you, when you grab somebody, and all of a sudden when they let their shoulders down, them themselves are making space for you. Mm -hmm. So the moment he, Khabib goes down, he starts... That's how he got out of it. Khabib literally wiggled his way out of that fucking gi team with, with Poirier. The thing is, you got to look for space. Uh, Volkanovski said it. Volkanovski versus Brian Ortega. Remember we were watching it? We watched it here versus Brian Ortega. That Ortega got the guillotine. Yes. In in full mount, and he got the guillotine. He locked it in, and he's like, it, he just got that little bit of space. He got that little mm -hmm. bit of space. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. A little bit of space, and he was able to get out. It is all it takes if you're one of those experts that only takes that little bit of space. Right. right. Like Ray like, would be able to get out of it. Okay, so the question: Every time somebody in the two or five division wins. Can this person be John Jones? Honestly, no. <laughs> right? I think no, that's the no. answer. <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer is no. No, dude, no. It's, but, I mean, I mean, think about it. Once again, the dude won. Uh, and I'm just going to throw this out there. Guy won because, first of all. Prohashka. Prohashka? Prohashka. Prohashka won. Prohashka. 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 Fuck off. <laughs> What was the other guy's he name? Always had him. He, I know, oh, you just close. He was about to say one more time. Tashera. So Tashera. Tashera. <laughs> Tashera decided Teixeira. that he wanted to go ahead and win the fight by submission. And Prakasha. Prohashka. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Did you name definitely is. said it wrong that time? So he. And, and you know what? He just happened to, because he was losing the fight the entire fucking match, dude. Who are we talking about? Tashera. Prohashka. 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 Yeah. Let's so, say red shorts and black shorts. There no. you go. You, you want the people to call you Nacho? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he but said Tenacious D. But that's what I'm saying, man. Like, okay. But going against John Jones? No, fuck no, dude. Are you kidding me? Glover already went and he already lost. Well, so and he was and he was uh, and and he was winning the fight. So if he was winning the fight against John Jones, uh, Prohashka against John Jones, he would lose. Who? Prohashka. 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 Can you guys shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, trying to teach you. Yeah, you gotta go. No, nah, but I agree with you. I don't think... Man, John Jones... Man, why is he... Why, why does he... You think that's like something in, in people's DNA that if you're that talented, you have to mess it up? I don't think so. I mean, you, you, there's a lot of people you can point to. But there's also a lot of people on the other side that you can point to. Tom sorry, Brady. Tom Brady is a, a, a great, great. He hasn't too. fought like in three years because of his choosing. He wants to get paid like three million dollars or something like that. Damn, well, not just bro. that, but he, every time that he gets whatever he wants, he ends up messing it up because he gets in trouble somehow. Man, it's crazy. Oh, man, so crazy ass fights. Yeah, um, Pretty good I fights. think that's all three fights that we want to fully recap on. We again, we want to thank you guys. It was just funny how this dude tried to sub him the entire fucking fight, and he gets subbed last thirty seconds. It sucks. It sucks for him. I want him to win. To me, he was the underdog. Who? Uh, Teixeira. I don't know. I, 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 honestly, to, I didn't to, check the hunt. 
I think the odds he was the, he was the the favorite, but I, that to me he was the underdog because everybody's crowning him out because of his age, because of uh, his weight, because of. I'm not gonna lie, that's doing. how it started with me, bro. As soon as I saw the fucking weight, I was like, dude, the age, the yeah, reach, everybody the height. Him out, but I did it because to me it's like it's simple. To me, grappler versus striker, I take the grappler every time. But see, tonight we realized both fucking grapplers lost to strikers. Who's the other one? Um. The one we're talking about. He had him in a Darce, got out of it. Was he a grappler, though? Yeah, yeah he probably was. He was. He probably was. Yeah. But, yeah, man. So, I don't know. I think that's a rematch, because wh- who's next for Prohashka? He already knocked out Dominic Reyes. Jean Blahovic looked bad in his last fight and got dominated by by Glover Teixeira. But Blahovic is a striker. Striker against striker. So, But at that point, for that fucking dude, bro, the height advantage that he has, it's all about reach at that point. If he goes against another striker, the is taller. Then yeah, that goes. That dude's fucked. Like, I say fucked. I want to say fucked, but like, uh, uh, Shara was a lot shorter, and he was about to like he got some pretty good hits in. Like he leaves oh, no, himself, and you don't get hit by if you get hit by Blahovic, you're done. You can't get hit by. Him. Like what I'm saying is like yeah. he leaves his he leaves himself wide open for hits. You know, yeah. like, it, it almost, like, like at one point, he literally put his fucking hands down, took two fucking slugs from the guy. Yeah. Like, bro, what are you doing? I don't know, but, yeah, it, it's crazy because that's that's not a bad fight, but I think I want to see this rematch. Agreed. And let's be honest, the guy's 45. We don't got much time. Like, let's get it done quickly. <laughs> Most people don't Like, next two long. weeks, maybe? Yeah, let's get it done next week. We ain't got, I got nothing to There's do. There's no way he recovers by that time. Because yeah, he's weak. Back in A-Leaf in my day. Oh, yeah? Let me hear about the time you got in a fight. It was like, like I said. Chesco's never been in a fight, by the way. Oh, I've been in a fight. And like I told you, but back then in my fights, like, we would agree to fight, right? Right, right, right. And, and we like would a go back, with, backyard like, fight. Backyard fight or whatever in the back of the school. But it was like, okay, you could hit me. But if you hit me too hard. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. Like, it, it, was, it was simple. Like, the rules were clear. Like <laughs> yeah. That's not a rule. <laughs> that was a rule. Like, in the contract, you you got these other rules. No low blows, no eye gouges. Can't hit me that too hard because I'm telling Miss, you know, whoever. The AP. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling the AP. So you got to hit me where I don't. it don't hurt that much. Where is that? The shoulder? No, nah, it could be the face, but you got to, like, you know. Pull your punches back. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't – because Tone and Ray been talking about sparring. I don't think this is good. The first or second hit that Tone gets off on Ray, Ray's going to go crazy. First of all, Tony's yes. not going to get a single yes. hit in. Yes, I'm yes, supposed I would. to. That's what sparring is about. Sparring, I get at least one puts... Yeah, and that's, that's what, what I'm saying. I'm like convinced that Ray doesn't spar. know how to spar. Yeah, Ray I doesn't know how to spar. spar perfectly fine, dude. Then I'm how not, is Tony not going to hit you? Because <laughs> I'm just going to keep blocking. <laughs> Bob and weave, you know? I mean, if he hits me hard, I'm going to hit him back hard. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> who, I used to... Who decides what's hard? I used to box with people. Apparently, I have heavy hands, man. Depends on the pain. Huh? So apparently, I have heavy hands. Okay, we can find out real quick. See, that's, what I'm telling you, that's not a sparring conversation. That is a sparring <laughs> conversation. <laughs> this, is, this is already getting yeah, to. Yeah, this is not a sparring to, conversation. To I'm telling point. you. Uh, for thank you for those of you who came on TikTok, and uh, can you comment down below what do you think of Ray's performance? Ray, we also had a co co main event. Co co main. Event. Ray versus. Do you know the guy's name on the VR? His name was like Joe something. Joe. We'll just call Joe. him Joe. Yeah. Good fight, Joe. Good fight. Ray no, was, dude, I cut his eye and everything. Ray yeah, was up in them puffing. <laughs> he was about to blow the halves in. Yeah, so. <laughs> Ray was about to blow the invisible legs out from underneath that guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you had... You had <laughs> we were afraid of this camera. <laughs> we just paused. Everybody just stopped. I don't know why that happened. I mean, we're still good. All right, you had fans, you know? You had people have your back, you know, so... Baby cat, baby oh, yeah, cat, baby, 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 baby cat, baby <laughs> cat. <laughs> hey, look, I appreciate the love and support, and uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully next time we're on here, uh, I can go ahead in front of the camera, actually finish the fight for you guys. Look at and you, I really uh, like that. And then Full edited uh, version. we we do owe you a twerk, both him and I owe you a twerk. We will get that to you, you got a on the next in live. Pocket, me and him. <laughs> you did promise it. You did promise you said it. said 100 grand. Not only did he get to 100K, but he got to like 130. You did promise it. You have to be a man in your word with... with Dude, the, that's 30,000 more than what you asked for, bro. Exactly. 
It was great. So we will get that to you the next live. Uh, we don't know exactly when the next live is going to be. Most likely it's going to be July 30th. July 30th. Um, but feel free to go ahead Before and follow that, us. We could probably do something else. You know, there's, uh, yeah, there's, we'll, there's, we'll figure something out. For there's you. some, maybe we could do it for the NBA finals. If it gets to a game seven, y'all down to do it. I'm done. Maybe we throw uh, a random line. It all depends on what I got going on that day, but I'm if, done. if it gets to a game seven, we're going to try to do a live for you, but I don't know how many people are going to, cause it's not pay-per-view, but <laughs> we might, we, we might throw it together. It, so. Regardless, we're going to try to yeah. go ahead and do something yeah, for you, know. you guys before the next uh, UFC 277, cause we might not be able to make it to 276. Hey, so, uh, now that I'm, a, you know, you guys say I'm a fanboy. Did Poirier's fight get announced tonight? No, not, not tonight. I think that's till August. Right now, they're, they're still announcing July 30th. No. All right, and July is before August. No shit. I'm just, I'm just. Gonna, you ask the question, I'm answering. <laughs> so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Comment down below if you came from TikTok or just what you liked about this video. If you agree with any of our assessments, don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we put out our videos. And as always, stay fresh. Peace. Peace. Royal Vibe Studios.